response of a two area system uncontrolled case static response dynamic response static response the changes or deviations result in the frequency tie light power under steady state conditions for a sudden step changes in loads in two areas say delta pd1 and delta pd2 be sudden or incremental step changes in the loads of control area 1 and control area 2 respectively similarly delta p z1 delta p z2 are the incremental changes in the generation in area 1 and area 2 owing to the load changes delta f is the static change in frequency which is same for both the areas delta ptl is the static change in the tie line power that is transmitted from area 1 to area 2 For the two areas, the dynamics are described by under steady state conditions solving equations 5 and 6. Substituting delta PTL1 from equation 10 in equation 9 is given as Substituting delta F from equation 10 in equation 11 is given as equations 11 and 12 are modified as equations 13 and 14 give the values of the static changes in frequency and tie line power respectively as a result of sudden step load changes in two areas it can be observed that the frequency and tie line power deviations do not reduce to zero in an uncontrolled case. Consider two identical areas. Hence, from equations 13 and 14, the equation is given as if a sudden load change occurs only in area 2, that is delta PD1 equal to zero, then we have Equations 9 and 10 illustrate the advantage of pool operation that is grid operation as follows. Equation 5 mathematically represents the change in frequency with respect to the change in the load in either of the two area system which is being interconnected by means of tie lines. Considering the two areas to be identical, equation 5 becomes 6. Hence. The load disturbance occurs only in one of the two areas, that is delta P D1 is equal to zero or delta P D2 is equal to zero. The change in frequency is represented by delta F is just half of the steady state error. This occurs with no interconnections, that is isolated case. Thus, with several systems interconnected, the steady state frequency error would be reduced. Half of the added load in area 2 is supplied by area 1 through the tie line. The above two advantages represent the necessity of interconnecting the system. Dynamic response. A power system of two identical control areas is considered for analysis. Tau GT equal to tau T equal to zero for both the areas. The damping constants of two areas are neglected, P1 equal to P2 equal to 0. By which you of the second assumption equations 5 and 6 become Laplace transformation on both sides of equations 19 and 20. From the block diagram, the following equations can be obtained. By solving the above equations, the equation can be written as
From the above equation, the following observations can be made. The denominator is of the form alpha and omega square are both real and positive. Hence, it can be concluded from the roots of characteristics equation that the time response is stable and damped. The three conditions are if alpha equal to omega n, system is critically damped. Alpha greater than omega n, system becomes over damped. Alpha less than omega n, then S12 equal to minus alpha plus or minus j square root omega n square minus alpha square. Where alpha is equal to damping factor or decrement of attenuation. Omega not equal to damped angular frequency. Since parameter alpha also depends on B, but B less than or equal to 1 by R in practice. Therefore, the effect of coefficient B is neglected on damping. After a disturbance, the change in tie line power oscillates at the damped angular frequency. Damping of the tie line power variation is strongly dependent upon the parameter alpha, which is equal to F0 by 4R H. Since F and H are essentially constant, the damping is a function of the R parameters. If the R value is low, damping becomes strong and vice versa. The transient change in the tie line power will be of undamped oscillations of frequency omega s is equal to omega. If r equal to infinity, that is if the speed governor is not present, alpha equal to zero, the variation in frequency deviation and the tie line power would be as shown in the image. It can be seen that the steady state frequency deviation is the same for both the areas and does not vanish. The tie line power deviation also does not become zero. Although the above approximate analysis has confirmed stability, it has been found through more accurate analysis that with certain parameter combinations, the system becomes unstable.